Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Most of the time, surprises are fun and good things, right? Well, for some people yesterday in FC24, the surprise they saw when they loaded into content and saw their cards crashing millions of coins worth downward on the market because EA surprised us with re-releasing old cards back into packs probably doesn't sit too well. I want to talk about that yesterday and everything related to PTG The Knockouts because we have a lot of new cards that have come into packs, a lot of big upgrades that were just released, and also a lot of prices that are crashing because some of these cards are no longer live. We're also missing a few. I want to take a look at where some of those cards are and look into what upgrade packs we might be having today as well as talk about the packability of these brand new cards. If you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. It was a promo Friday of content. There was a lot. Of course, there were no more icons as those went out of packs and that was probably the saddest thing of yesterday's content. But let's go over it all and start with the objectives, especially with the new cup. If you're looking for some higher rated pack guarantees an 87 four and an 87 double couple of those 87 double and 87 triple inside of the festival football cup these are some of the best packs that ea dropped yesterday if you're going to play this cup mode it's score 15 play 10 and win 12 so it's a little bit of work there's no xp inside of it but it is a really good chance at some big packs for the ptgs that are around. This is the objective I want to draw your attention to, though. Yusuf Volfana from France. He actually just got upgraded, and it's a little bit of extra XP. 500 XP inside of here for completing two of the objectives and getting a card that just got an additional playstyle plus and a plus one rating overall. That France double upgrade for getting their third win of the Euros and also winning the semifinal game yesterday in penalties against Portugal. And Ronaldo, this card also fits into the Evo that was dropped yesterday. That's where I want to go next because this is probably the best Evo card to fit into this Euro Glory Evo. We mentioned this in the video yesterday. I was hoping that EA would allow us to upgrade some of our PTG cards that are maybe no longer live and upgrading. Some of them are, and they fit this, right? This is a decent Evo, especially for this Fulkrug, for that Fofana, and a couple of other players. Like, guys, it's plus two in the pace and the shooting categories, and then plus one in every single other individual stat. This card is already busted before having the upgrade. For, like, a 45,000 coin striker, Giving this card the free Euro Glory upgrade, giving him plus two paste and plus two shooting with plus one everywhere else, it really is a disgusting card. If you're using Full Krug, I would highly recommend putting him into this. And if you want a cheap, fun striker or just to Evo somebody who you maybe have already packed, this is a really good card to do that on. But I really think that doing the full Fauna objective, putting him into this Evo and upgrading him gives you the best chance at a really cracked card because this card is still live and upgrading, right? Full Fauna just got the slide tackle play style plus and these are his stats 95 pace 94 shooting 94 passing and then 95 physicality after you get him out of the evo so for a free objective card that gives xp which a lot of us need putting him into an evo that how many games does it require play three play three play three rivals or champs so that little last part there is annoying but not bad, I guess. Nine games to get this Fofana card upgraded to this level for a free item is not bad at all. You've also got a Kanji who fits this. You've got Mateus Nunez and Fulkrug. And of course, you've got uh, Vlahovic as well. And I think Vlahovic is going up a ton in the market because a lot of people are doing this card, which he does look good in the Evo. It is because he goes to 97 pace and 99 shooting that he looks pretty cracked, and his card is going up a bunch on the market. Uh, so if you want to do that, of course, you can go ahead and do that one, but I really think that the Fofana might be a good one to do. Now, the only caveat with this is there was a couple cards like that Full Krug and Mateus Nunez that if Portugal and or Germany would have won yesterday, one of these cards would have been able to go to 96 because you could have put them in the Evo, gotten them from a 94 to a 95, and then their 95 rated item would have gotten the plus one boost that, of course, the other nations, of course, because Brazil and, or sorry, not Brazil, Germany and Portugal did not win. They did not get the upgrades. I guess there's still technically that potential with a Kanji. If Switzerland are able to pull it off today, you could put a Kanji into the Evo and then he would become a 95 rated card on his own. If you got the Evo done before then, he, I think he would go from a 95 
95 to a 96, if that makes sense, right? The max rating is 94. Of course, if that player who's in it is a 94, it gets the plus one, you get that extra boost, right? That's what I'm trying to explain. So there's a little bit of potential for some silliness there if you want to go for that. But you could also save that for a potential SBC that could be coming out as well if we get another Euro PTG SBC. Speaking of SBCs, Let's look at what we got yesterday. It was a pretty quiet day, and especially with the player SBC that we got, this was the worry, guys. We were worried about Diogo Jota and Portugal, and this is a good card. Like, let's be honest. Technical, finesse, Tiki Taka, the relentless, it is what it is. High, high, four-star, five-star. The stats are really good, but he's no longer live, no longer upgrading, and for the price of this SBC being around 800,000 coins, you're thinking that this would have been an SBC to do if Portugal would have won, and they unfortunately did not. So it's cool, and it's probably nostalgic if you're a Portuguese fan or if you're a Liverpool fan, you're going to go ahead and do it and craft it. But for most of us, I think it's going to be a pass just because he does not get any more upgrades. And it's a little bit expensive of a card unless there's some meaning for you behind it. Now, we also had the 80 plus 3 best of nations upgrade yesterday, which I'm going to shout this out. If you're having problems with the 81 plus player pick giving you players that you think are decent and the rewards from that aren't making you super happy, try some of these 80 plus times threes. You're going to get more cards. But again, it's limited to those specific nations, Spain, France. Germany, England, or Brazil. You know, I think these are good. I think you'd, I'd maybe mix between these and the 81 plus picks because the 81 plus picks, you get the whole wide range of player pool there, but you only get to take one player home. So I know the value isn't the best, like according to the 82 plus player pick that we love, but I think the 80 times three is worth a try of the SBC gamble. So that's there. Let's talk about the cards that are in packs. Actually, yesterday, if you think about it, not a lot of SBCs yesterday. It was a step down in terms of the quality of of the SBC content on a promo Friday from what we have seen more recently. Guys, we had PTG the knockouts, right? It was the players that we looked at in yesterday's video for the leaks, and we got some big stats in here. We have the 97 Cristiano Ronaldo, the 97 Kai Havertz, but again, my biggest fear, my biggest worry was confirmed, and it happened yesterday and now into today. Some of the cards that were dropped in this promo are now rendered quote unquote useless. They're still good, fun cards, very meta with four play style pluses and cracked stats, but no longer having the upgrades in a live card promo just kind of stinks and it kind of kills the vibe a little bit. This Havertz card, I'm still unsure on what is going on here because he is a center attacking mid, center mid right winger striker that has more defense than he does have shooting. He can't play left back. He does have high medium work rates though. The other Havertz cards, this one and the Winter Wild cards had medium medium work rate so maybe still a cool card there but again very expensive very rare that's one thing i do want to note about these cards on the market is that they are very rare let's go take a look at this havertz in fact like during the germany game yesterday he had like one or two cards he's got a few more now because people are like why do i own want to own this card right now his price is dropping because he's no longer live but as i take a look at a lot of these like even john stones he just had a pretty big price spike because he's very rare. Like there's no more than like 10 cards of John Stones on the market. These cards are very rare. And I actually think that means they're going to drop off more today. So be very careful if you own any of the brand new PTG cards, because to me, they're overpriced for a lot of them. Some of them are more packable than others. Like Ferran Torres, I sold him at 1.1 mil yesterday right away, but he seems to be a lot more packable than say Shalhanoglu or Delict. Uh, but again, be very, very careful with some of these. And again, like I said, our worries are even more of these cards today are going to get knocked out for the games that are happening. You know, Shalhanoglu could get knocked out today. Delict could get knocked out. And then what do you have? A card that's going to be dropping a lot in value and be a lot less hype than some of the others. Now, I do want to draw your attention to an upgrade that just happened for a card that EA made a mistake with. And we're going to talk about the upgrades here in a second. But Kamavinga was dropped with four playstyle pluses. Of course, Griezmann was only dropped with three. He got upgraded. Now he has the fourth. But EA said that the Kamavinga PTG was released earlier with an unintended amount of playstyle pluses. They kept the item the same. They did not change anything and go back on their upgrade for it. They said that if France are victorious, which they were, the player item would receive an additional plus one upgrade instead of an additional playstyle plus. So they didn't want to go to five playstyle pluses. I don't think they're going to for the rest of the game, in my just complete honesty here, since we're so close to the end and we kind of just got to four playstyle pluses like what, a week ago, two weeks ago ish, three weeks ago maybe. Um, so Kamavinga got a plus two boost. 
instead of just a playstyle plus and a plus one. And he looks insane. So another kind of EA mistake with these live cards that actually ends up benefiting us here. But there's some other situations with the team. When I take a look at John Stones, he also has four playstyle pluses. This is a pretty cracked looking card. Intercept, anticipate, long ball pass, and aerial for a center back. Also with those passing and dribbling stats and a center defensive mid and right back alternate positions and high, high work rates. This looks like a pretty crazy card, but he's got four play style pluses as well. And I know you may be like, Nate, what's the problem with this? Kyle Walker, Bukayo Saka, they've got four play style pluses. Well, they're not supposed to. Remember the mistake that EA made? They upgraded all the English cards too early. They only have two wins so far instead of three. They haven't yet clinched that three win upgrade, but they got the actual playstyle plus ahead of time. So I'm, I'm really curious to see if EA is going to tweet about John Stones because it's kind of the same situation as Kamavinga. And if England win today, John Stones should technically be getting a 98 rated boost as well. I don't know what they're going to do about the Kyle Walker and the Bukayo Saka. Maybe they're going to cross that bridge when they get there today, but that mistake that they made is kind of coming back into uh, our sights again because technically England would be winning their third game today, and if they do win, they would also be winning the quarterfinals, which is a plus one overall upgrade. So they should, in turn, I would expect, get the plus two like Kamavinga did. We'll just have to see. Now, the Copa America PTGs, you guys might be like, Nate, I'm not packing any of these cards but I've packed a Copa America card. These Copa America cards are so common. I think they're just like, the pack weight for these is way up and the pack weight for the Euro cards is way down. I packed Pelestri twice yesterday from 85 times fives. And to speak about the pack weight, it is definitely not as good as the icons. I mean, we were sad to see the icons go. That was such a good grind. It was so fun packing those cards. And it's crazy to say that the pack weight on promo cards that are regular versions is worse than icons. Like when, I, when do you ever say that? Literally never. But that is kind of the fact of the menus right now. It is a little bit less, I guess, hype in terms of the pack weight. It's harder to pack these cards, but it's not terrible at the same time. And what EA did yesterday to really confuse us and spice things up and maybe give a little bit of help to the packability of the menus is re-release the Path to Glory Team 1 cards for the nations that are still in the Euros and Copa America as of yesterday at the content drop. So guys like DePaul, Ruben Diaz, Pedri, like guys, Pedri, Spain won yesterday and Pedri went from 1 million coins all the way down to 550K. Now he's rising back up a little bit. He's 600,000 coins and he just got upgraded and I think he's gonna rise up a little bit more. But the fact that EA re-released these cards in packs, I mean, I wish we would have talked about it a bit more because there was a little bit of me that was like, could EA do it? Yeah, maybe. But then I saw how big the PTG team two looked and I was like, nah, they're not gonna do it. They did. And it did lose people a lot of coins because yesterday, right after DePaul got upgraded, just for one specific example, DePaul was like 1.8 million coins, right? And a lot of people were probably still holding on. Maybe some of you guys watching this video were still holding on to some of these cards as investments. Now, DePaul has kind of risen back up a bit and some of these cards have gotten rare into the early morning hours today on Saturday. But my advice to you would be sell, okay? If any of these have gone up a lot, just think about it. These cards are back in packs. They are going to be supplied from Weekend League Rewards, even if the pack weight's not that great. Weekend League Rewards and investors, right? That's another part of it. People see their cards get re-released back into packs. And what does that mean? People start panic selling. Take a look at the Ruben Diaz card from yesterday when people learned that he was coming back into packs. 1.4 mil tanked even before the Portugal-France game. Tanked in price down to 1.1. During the game, back up to 1.3, and what do we have now? A no longer live and upgrading Ruben Diaz that probably needs to drop down just a little bit more in value because he hasn't dropped down that much yet, and the fact that he's still in packs worries me. What do we have with a Kyle Walker card who's back in packs but is back up? Look at this. From 799, 800K, boom, tanked to 650, and he's now back up. Guys, this is a clear reading for me to sell these cards before they drop further. Even if you're invested from a long time ago, the fact that cards have been released back into packs. EA is going to run more lightning rounds today. People are going to pack them from foot champs. There's going to be first owner supply on these cards hitting the market. The demand and the prices that we have known for all of these kind of PTG Team 1 cards for the past couple of weeks, that's out the window. That is out the window 100%. It is a good time to be selling these cards, especially the ones that have kind of come back up a little bit. So yeah, EA, that's kind of scummy that you read with these cards and made people lose a lot of coins. But at the same time, for those of us that don't have those cards, it's kind of like, hmm, 
hey, I get another chance at packing DePaul, and I get another chance at packing Sokka and Militao and Saliba, especially after those upgrades, which is cool in a sense too. Now, let's take a look at a couple of upgrades really fast. We've mentioned them already, but one upgrade that we have not mentioned is the first 99 rated card of FC24. Thanks to Florian Verts and his card and his accomplishments, he is our first 99 rated card of FC24. Here he is. Um, he had the assists yesterday. He had the appearances. He's five star, five star, which he was already. But here he goes with the plus two, even though Germany were not able to move on to the tournament. He is a nice byproduct of the run and the accomplishments that they had and that he had going to 99 rated. So that's pretty crazy. His price is up a ton i want to talk about some of the rest of the upgrades the spanish cards they got a plus one overall for winning the quarterfinals right that's the upgrade there so danny olmo and pedri were kind of the biggest names that got plus ones pedri of course got plus one everywhere a couple of plus twos in the passing category i mean these spanish cards already had a play style plus that were given to them so they look good with the upgrades right you love a stat boost this is one of the best budget cams and center forwards i guess right wing left wing in the game this uh danny olmo card absolutely crazy for sure but even then like his price went up yesterday but it's kind of coming back down to where he was and the fact that he's in packs still worries me yes he's still alive there's more upgrades that he could achieve uh but i'm still very very wary of some of these cards that are released back in packs so that was kind of the hype for spain i do believe there was another upgrade for spain as well uh for casillas casillas got a plus one danny carvajal um is going to be very unfortunately not getting a plus one for his fifth appearance because he got a red card, a yellow and a red. Uh, so he's not going to play in that next semifinal game, unfortunately. So they'd have to make it to the finals for him to get that last plus one. Jesus Navas got a plus one as well. Ferran Torres as well got a plus one. Nico Williams has to play one more game. And then none of the Spanish icons besides Casillas are getting a boost. Casillas got a plus one, but the other ones were already fully upgraded. So that is all there. And then Le Normand, I think he got the fifth appearance as well so he goes to a 94 that's all the upgrades there now the bigger upgrades are for the spanish cards for sure because spain um sorry french cards the france cards achieved two upgrades in one they got the third win which is crazy that they've only won three games but they got their third win of euros and they also won the quarterfinals so saliba got jockey plus and he got a plus one overall. This card is looking absolutely crazy. Big upgrade there for him and for some of these other cards that got upgraded in here. Of course, I want to show you the playstyle pluses they gave some of the objective cards that a lot of us have. Jonathan Klaus got incisive pass plus, which to me, he already had which pass anticipate and relentless, which were great. Giving him incisive, hmm, I would have maybe rather had intercept. But this is solid, right? Incisive pass. I use through balls with my right back a lot. He's got 93 short pass, 83 long pass. So maybe that won't help his passing a ton. Um, and maybe it's not the best play style plus for him, but it's fine. Here's the one I'm a little frustrated about. Bradley Barcola. He was argued as one of the best SBCs of Path to Glory Team 1. They had the audacity to give bro the trickster plus play style and give him plus two defending. Trickster Plus, really, like no finesse, uh, first touch, Tiki Taka, any of the other ones that he had, like Trickster? I mean, if you love Trickster Playstyle Plus, then you're probably fine with it. But for me, I'm like, ah, EA, what are we doing here, man? Like, that's really a bummer, in my opinion, that they gave Barcola Trickster Plus. I mean, I still think he's a really great card. He got the plus one overall as well. So you love that. Same thing with the Klaus. He got the plus one overall too. Again, with it being the double upgrade. But I'm a little bit bummed that that's the Playstyle Plus that they chose to give him. No icon upgrades, unfortunately, for the French cards because they did not score any goals right? Uh, they didn't score any goals in, in the regular run of play. The penalty goals do not count. So Petit still needs one goal. Vieira, Henri, and um, who's the other one? Another big name icon, Trezeguet and Desai Zidane, right? They don't get any upgrades. It's very, very unfortunate for the icons and for the heroes like Lisa Razu as well. The other thing I did want to mention really quick here is Kamavinga got the plus two, as we mentioned. And then Griezmann got Tiki Taka plus, which this card looks absolutely bananas. He's also very rare on the market. You can see here there's only five cards. Absolutely mental card. Still upgrades to come. Kind of reminds me of the Path to Glory Griezmann from the World Cup in uh, FIFA 23 as well. So the other upgrade to mention is since Canada won on penalties, Alfonso Davies is going to go to a 97. He's only going to have three playstyle pluses still though because they have only gotten two wins 
in Copa America, but he has gotten them a win in the quarterfinals. His penalty was actually really good when a lot of the other penalties in that shootout were not good. So Davies is going to go to a 97 uh, rating here pretty soon. And then, of course, you got the big games today. Big, big games today with England, Switzerland, which we already mentioned, and Netherlands and Turkey. And in Copa America, two big games as well. Colombia, Panama, and Uruguay, Brazil. So a lot of cards potentially getting upgraded late tonight and early tomorrow morning. So let's talk about the market just a little bit. And speaking of some of these icons that we just went over, you see me actually just buying a Del Piero here. I'm watching some of the icon prices. I've actually bought a couple other Del Pieros too. And I bought a couple of icons yesterday. I bought Zico, a couple of Del Pieros because with the content not being as hype, which was kind of expected, right? It's not bad, but it's just not quite up to the, the level of the greats of the game icons that we just left. I did expect some of the icon prices to go up, and some of them are, especially on the lower tier. Take a look at Rykard, 60,000 coins. I remember looking at this card, what, a couple days ago? He was, he was under 40,000 coins, 42K to 60K. What a rise there for him. Uh, a guy like Zanetti, 197,000 coins. He was 170 even a couple of days ago. I think Desai is starting to go up a little bit. It's kind of those icons that people were very hyped about using, very meta cards. Fernando Torres, 397,000 coins. He was 330 just a couple of days ago. So you're starting to see those icon prices really start to take off, especially on the lower tier. The middle tier, there's some good ones in there as well. Pirlo is up. Uh, the Del Piero that I bought, I bought two at 350 and then another one just now at 370 I think you just have to be a little bit more careful about the ones that have games today, like Charlton. Uh, you got to be really careful about him. I do believe he could go up, but also if England don't play well today, or even if they play well but don't score that many goals, you know, this could be a problem for Charlton as well because he is still chasing a goal upgrade, I do believe. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure Charlton still needs. Let's go view trackers here. Rooney is on two. Charlton's on two goals. So they need two. Let's say England only score one today. Let's say it's like 1-0 or 1-1, to -1, and then England went on penalties or something like that, which the way they've been playing is very likely. Charlton actually might drop in price because he would not get that upgrade, but then he could rebound later on. So I'd just be very careful with those. But the greats of the game, icons and heroes, should be good to continue to trade with because they are live, right? And again, I, I mentioned this earlier, but as we're taking a look at the market and just talking about some things, I really believe that these Path to Glory cards from team number two, they did not get supplied a lot yesterday because EA did not run that many lightning rounds. And um, there was so much hype with the games that were being played in the Euros and the Copa America. It just seemed like there weren't even a lot of people on the game. It seemed like people logged on to check content and then logged off to go watch the games. And I think today you're going to start to see the prices of these cards drop a good bit more. So if I were you, I'd be very careful about owning any of these. I think the prices are going to dip some more today. And same thing with the re-release cards. Like it's crazy that a Bukayo Saka is more right now after being re-released in packs. He was 2.2. He went all the way down to 1.9 and is back right now to 2.3. Like the only way Saka is going back above 2.3 mil is if England do actually go ahead and win today and then maybe he goes back up for a little bit you know like the risk is very very high when you have a card that is re-released back in packs and ea not putting out a lot of packs they could put out more packs today and you just have more supply coming on the market slowly but surely the price will go down so i'm just worried about some of those i think team one of ptg the re-released and team two of the knockout cards will drop today in price so i would not be holding on to those they will fluctuate though so if you want to try to fit in and out of the trades like we we did yesterday we made a bunch of coins yesterday trading with the cards as they were live and as they were dropping and then going back up um, you can absolutely do that but i would be very very careful now let's talk about more sunday content today how can ea turn the ship around a little bit right we have leaked players that weren't dropped in the team yesterday that we're still looking out for and we also have the hope of upgrade packs let's start with the upgrade packs because it's Saturday, and that's when we usually get our packs, right? We had the 85 fives that are going to be expiring today, which we've been doing for the last week. We've loved them. They've given us our best opportunity, or one of the best opportunity at packing the icons this past week. This goes away today, as does the 8410 Best of Nations. There's a new 8410 Best of Nations in the code. I think that's going to come out today, but what we really, really, really need, really need, is the regular 84 times 10 to come back. If they drop the 86 double or something like that, we're not going to be very happy. It needs to be 
the regular 84 times 10 and the 84 times 10 best of upgrade, right? That's what I'm really, really hoping for today. And of course, when we take a look at SBCs like this, we think about fodder. And as expected, fodder's down, but since EA didn't drop that many store packs, fodder's not down that much, like tradable store packs, I should add, right? It's down some, 89 rateds are 21,000 coins, 88s are like 9.5, 9.6K. I think fodder could go lower today, guys. I really do. I'd be very careful. I also think today is going to be a day EA is going to drop another untradeable store pack. And if there's no other SBCs that people are really wanting to do, and the menu grind is not as good as last week, which it's just genuinely not, as a lot of people have completed the crafting upgrade, the player SBCs are kind of like, well... Who do I do? Unless we get a good player SBC today, it might hurt the menus a little bit and you could see some of that fodder dropping down, which could make it another good day to invest in a little bit of that. But of course, if there's a really good upgrade pack today, watch Team of the Weeks, watch Team of the Season cards because they could be moving. I heard Team Leaks are down a little bit. Um, I know that Team Leaks are really craftable still at the moment with the 83 plus Team of the Week, but keep an eye on this. How much are they right now? Let's double check. Team of the Week cards are 37 36, 37,000 coins, it looks, maybe 38K, somewhere right around 37 to 38K. So just watch the upgrade packs, they see what we get. And if it's not good, those could go down a little bit. But if it is good, those could start to creep up. We'll have to see. Now, last thing, there's big games today. And the longer that EA wait to release the cards that have been leaked that are not out yet, that creates an even bigger problem. Lissandro Martinez, uh, Taram, Wout Weghorst, and Gallagher. If they aren't dropped today, especially with the games that are today, that means that these games that are happening today wouldn't count for their upgrades. I think EA has to drop a mini release today, guys. And I think they need to really front load some of these players because if they wait until like Monday or Tuesday to drop an SBC for somebody who only has two games, potentially the semifinal or the final of the Euros to potentially qualify for upgrades... I know that the upgrades are also retroactively fitting the cards, and EA even says that here in the menus. That was one thing we were questioning about yesterday. Right, it says there at the bottom that any upgrades earned prior to the release will be already applied, so retroactive upgrades. But, like, it just it doesn't hit the same when they don't release the cards and they're out of the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say Switzerland lose today, but the Zakaria SBC doesn't drop until, like, Tuesday. Like, what the heck? That wouldn't make that wouldn't be cool. That wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense or really be that hyped. It just that's how it feels to me. But I think we got to get a mini release today and we got to get a player SBC today as well. I'm really hoping that they give us this Lissandro Martinez. But since Argentina doesn't play until Tuesday, there's maybe potential that they wouldn't drop that today and they might wait on that a little bit. But for the mini release and for the uh, SBC slash objectives, the other cards basically that have been leaked. This is the list here that we're still looking out for. Of course, we've already got Fofana and Jota. Now we're just looking for the rest of those players. And EA, drop a showdown. Drop a showdown today too. That would be absolutely phenomenal if they dropped one. Even if it's one game, like let's say it's just Argentina versus Canada, which is happening on Tuesday. They could give us that one. That's a little bit ahead of time. We would love some more showdowns since we're in the crazy business end of these tournaments where every single game feels kind of like a final. And it feels massive because really... It is because we're at the business end of these tournaments and there's a whole lot of hype and a whole lot of pressure. It's go big or go home. So that is the content that we're expecting today, talking all through it. Best of luck packing cards at the moment, guys. Again, the weight isn't as good as last week. It's not terrible. The grindability and the craftability is still there. And be careful with that 575,000 coin pack because I ripped it yesterday and I got a dupe. That's the one thing you got to worry about is the duplicates if you've already got cards from PTG Team 1 since they've been re-released. So that's the video for today, guys. Have a great Saturday. Good luck in your foot champs and all the grind on this game that you may be partaking in. And also enjoy the footy. If you enjoyed today's video, though, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been the Foot Accountant. See you there. Peace out.